We have an update to a story we brought to you here on ABC4 News last night. After a Salt Lake County judge ruled Republican Governor candidate Phil Lyman's first choice for Lieutenant Governor as ineligible, he's announced his new pick for the position. That's new today. So ABC4's Annika Johns is following this story for us here this evening. She joins us live from the Capitol. Annika, tell us what's the latest so far. Well, so far, Phil Lyman has announced that his newest mate or running mate, excuse me, for Lieutenant Governor is Natalie Clausen. Now, Clausen is a Utah County native and was announced as Lyman's newest running mate earlier this morning. In a statement saying Clausen, the BYU political science and juris doctor degree graduate, has been involved in politics on a grassroots level. Lyman says she is reportedly a sponsor of the Secure Vote Utah Initiative, has worked for BYU Center for Inter International Law and Religion Studies, and researched and published on issues related to law and religious freedom. Lyman refers to Clausen as a strong defender of the First Amendment and religious freedom. Now, this change of candidate comes less than a day after Lyman's first pick, Lane Bangeter, was deemed ineligible to run by a Salt Lake County judge after issues with Bangeter's residency raised concerns with the lieutenant governor's office, who says any applicant for lieutenant governor must be a resident for five consecutive years before an election. Bangeter, while he grew up in Utah, only moved back to the state in 2021, which means he's only lived in Utah for three years and does not meet the requirements. Now, here is the moment Lyman knew he would be searching for this new candidate. Candidate. The court determines as a matter of law that Mr. Bangader is not eligible to serve as lieutenant governor because he does not meet the qualifications that are found in the Constitution. Specifically, he has not been a resident of the state of Utah for the last five years. Now, Judge Bates issued an oral ruling yesterday, but says he promises to release a written opinion by Monday. Now, the judge, judge says he's only denying the excuse me, injunction and not issuing a final ruling on the case, which means this will not be the last we see of this lawsuit. Now, of course, we'll be keeping you up to date both on air and online at abc4.com as this continues to move forward. Reporting live from the Utah State Capitol, Annika Johns, ABC4 News.